Welcome back everyone to Photography by Harrison and what we're going to be trying to do today we're going to try bubble photography but since you know we're practicing our social distancing I'm going to actually be trying to make bubbles by myself and photograph them by myself and the camera I'll be using will be the Panasonic FC1002 so with that I'm going to show you what the results are good or bad you get to see both of them and we'll see what we can come up with when you're doing Bubble photography by yourself. With that being said, I will see you on the other side. Well, what do you think? Good, bad, and indifferent. It's amazing things you can come up with when you're sitting at home, the ideas you come up with. Now, I'm not saying all them are good ideas, but at least they ideas. So with that being said, you know, if you like what you see, or, what you, or if you don't like what you see, still leave a comment below, because if you like what you see, that motivates me to go out and do more videos. And if you don't like what you see, but you tell me why you don't like it, that also motivates me to go out and do more videos. Because I said it before and I will continue to say it, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. So you too, oh, by the way, my soap bubble mixture is just uh, ivory detergent and water. So if you don't have any of the fancy, really, really soapy stuff, make your own. Now you two go, now you go out and try some bubble photography on your own. And with that being said, I will see you next time.